How y'all doing this morning, my good peoples? Hope y'all taking care of y'all sip today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. And smash that doorbell for me, baby. You hear me? And keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off. Don't please catch you at the end, baby. Let's go. Uh, but they also discovered that one person was deceased and found in that vehicle. Off the top at 6 o'clock tonight, a tragic end in the search for a South Florida woman who deputies say was carjacked and abducted in Central Florida. Sadly, the Seminole County Sheriff says the victim, who was from Homestead, is now presumed dead. Her body is believed to have been found inside her car, which had been set on fire. We have live team coverage. Local 10 Samir Nefsi is in Osceola County, where the burned out car was found. But we begin with Local 10's Ray Ramos live now outside the victim's family's home in Homestead. Roy. Calvin and Nicole, and we've been able to learn that she does own two businesses here in the Homestead area with her husband. We did get a chance to go to those businesses and speak with employees. They obviously very concerned after hearing of her disappearance and then seeing the video of her kidnapping. You can see that relatives have been arriving to this home throughout the day after learning that her body was likely found in her burnt car. You are looking at a picture of 31-year-old Catherine Alta Garcia Guerrero de Aguas Villas. She is who Seminole County Sheriff Deputy said was reported missing Thursday following a possible carjacking and abduction. That horrific incident all captured on cell phone video by a driver stopped at a traffic light. In the video, you can see a man in a black hoodie approach the white Dodge Durango with a for sale sign on the rear window. That's when the man is seen pointing a gun into the driver's side window. Seconds later, he reaches inside of the vehicle opens the back door and gets into the back seat before the car is seen taking off. Right behind it, a green car that had its tag covered follows closely. We suspect that one of the occupants of the green Acura gets out of the Acura uh, wearing a black hoodie, uh, wearing a ski type of mask or a ninja mask as we've called it, uh, carrying what appears to be consistent with a uh, automatic uh, handgun, Seminole County Sheriff Dennis Lima said moments before this incident, the victim called her husband to notify him a car was following her. Uh, told her husband that she was being rammed, that there was somebody there that was following her. The husband provided the advice to don't stop. Sheriff deputies finding that Durango a day later after it was set on fire and left in Osceola County. Inside that SUV, a body and 12 10 millimeter shell casings. It looks like the vehicle and is consistent to everything that we, we've seen so far. And when we heard from the Seminole County Sheriff today, he said that neither the victim nor the victim's husband called 911 to report that incident. It was people that were on the street. In fact, a driver right behind this incident that called 911 just obtained that call. Take a listen. 911, you need police, fire, or medical. Uh, I don't need anything, but there's a guy going down East Lake Drive in Seminole County with, uh, he was chasing the car, hit the car, got out of his car with a hood over his face and had a machine gun, it looked like, got in the car with the other guy, and then the car that he got out of did a U-turn and went back down East Lake Drive, and they're headed back towards 1792. It's a green Acura, and it's, uh... Tuscaloosa Road. Uh, East Lake Drive and Tuscaloosa Road, but they're headed back towards 1792 right now. And uh, it's like a, I've got some video of it, but you need to do something now because I don't know what's going on. And the sheriff's office also added that they received reports investigators that is that the victim was driving to that central florida area to visit relatives however those investigators still have yet to find any relatives that live in the seminole county or osceola county area for now here in homestead roy ramos local 10 news that video is incredibly frightening roy thank you from roy and homestead we head north to osceola county where the victim's body was apparently found in her burned out suv and local 10 samir nefsi continues our live team coverage now with what he's learned samir 
Calvin and Nicole. So we are miles away from that crime scene off Bogey Road here in Osceola County. But today during that press conference, the sheriff of Seminole County releasing a preliminary timeline of Catherine's movements from South Florida all the way to Central Florida. But I want to go ahead and take you now to some crime scene video we have obtained. This, of course, taken today, as I mentioned, on uh, that crime scene off Bogey Road. Now, this was taken today. Of course, the incident happened yesterday, believed to be around 7 p.m. You can see the vehicle is no longer there, but there's crime scene on tape as well as a construction site near. Now, what was interesting during that press conference, the sheriff stating that they believe the suspects were familiar with this location and this is exactly where they wanted to take Catherine. Let's go ahead and get to this first map. This is uh, from South Florida all the way to Central Florida. Now, according to Seminole County Sheriff Dennis Lima, on Thursday, Catherine traveled from the Homestead area north towards Central Florida. It's documented around 2 p.m. She was in that white Dodge Durango traveling northbound in the Jupiter area, then makes her way over through downtown Orlando, that via I-4. In a loose timeline between 3 and 4 p.m., she stops at a Shell gas station along 436 in 1792 in Seminole County. She was there for approximately eight minutes, got gas, and then traveled northbound, weaved in and out through back roads, ending up near that intersection, Lake e East Drive in Tuscarello Road. Now, this is that intersection where that video was taken. Now, what's interesting, this is where about a half mile prior to that intersection, she called her husband and stated that that vehicle is following her and ramming her at points. Let's go ahead and show you that horrifying cell phone video. You can see a person in a black hoodie believed to have exited from that green uh, vehicle and then gone up to Catherine's Durango. Of course, you can see that gun in their hand demanding, or at least believe, that she unlocked that back door. They eventually get in. Catherine makes a U-turn. And that vehicle, of course, trailing behind her. Now, in this second map, this is where things take a turn. Catherine and the suspects travel southbound towards the Seminole Orange County line. This along 417 southbound. They exit at the Narcuzzi Road exit and then turn off onto Bogey Creek Road. Again, this is where that vehicle is found. Witnesses there hearing gunshots and spotting that smoke. Go ahead and take a listen to what the sheriff had to say. You know what I'm saying? There was so much damage to the vehicle. You could not positively identify the vehicle, uh, but they also discovered that one person was deceased and found in that vehicle. Right? I don't know why she's You feel me? If she's seen somebody got the car, why she ain't that bus a U-turn? Or either just you know, run a light or call some type of scene. You feel me? She'd have been still here. She'd have been still living. But she panicked and froze up and let this dude in. If you see somebody bumping your car, get out the car and come straight towards you. Come on, man. Flush it. Bust a U-turn. You had no room to really bust a, You ain't had to bust a U-turn. You could have still made that left and rolled on top of that sidewalk. And you'd have kept dipping because there was no car turning right there. To the right. You feel what I'm saying? If that had been me and I see somebody bump my vehicle and I see him got the car, man, look here, man. I ain't got no tool on me, man, look here. Stop. I'm talking about, man, I'm causing all type of scene. You heard me? And I stand on that. You know what I'm saying? Because it don't make no difference because you either going to get hit there or you probably wouldn't got hit because the SUV, only thing she had to do just flush it. She probably wouldn't even most got shot. By her, he the one unlocked the door. I seen how he reached in. He unlocked the door, had her door open, and then while he was trying to go in the back, why she ain't smacked the gas then? You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause he had to really come around the open door and get in. Why she ain't smacked the gas like whoo? Or he just bad back and then run and slap over, bump into the car behind you, and then once you knock him down, guess what? Then you just put back and drive. And you just take off all that little home. And she'd have been good to go, man. You know what I'm saying? To me, I'm going to say this here, right? If she had that, she say, say she had two business, her and her husband. And either somebody that worked for her, watching her, or somebody worked with her, told somebody, when do she go to the bank? When do she leave the house? You feel me? See, that's the thing to look at, right? It probably was somebody used to work for him. You feel me? Because how they gonna get behind you right then and there? You just left your crib and somebody bumping, you call your husband. 
You feel me? Why you didn't tell your whole much speak you was on or something? You know what I'm saying? You could have kept flushing it. He could have got in the car. He could have drove behind trying to find out which street you on. You could have kept riding and still talk to him. Hey, I'm on some street. Hurry up. They still bump my car. Woo, 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 woo. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because I was in that position and, 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 and my way was to say, woo, woo, And I know what street she tell me. I'm going to get in that car. I'm going to flush it. You feel me? And I'm going to have that tooling with me. You heard me? I'm going to be like, woo, woo. Then the police would have started. Hey, look here. Somebody ran my wild car, man. They on something so woo 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 man. Hurry up, man. You know what I'm saying? For something happened to her, woo 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 woo. She had to know somebody. Somebody knew her. That's why they had had on that mask, man. Cause she knew, she knew this person, and that person knew them. Cause when you left your crib, boom, they merely bumped you. So they was already plotting, setting up, watching you. That's why. They put that piece of plastic around that tag. You feel me? Somebody been watching them people up, man. Somebody know them. They need to check on Ken folks. They need to check uh, if they got uh, employees. They need to check the employee. This employee told somebody to set somebody up. What time they leave the house. What time they go to the bank. Hold them hostages. Woo, 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 woo. So, what y'all think, my good people? Y'all come and let me know how y'all feel about this here. Do y'all think that she... They knew her, or she knew them. I had been somebody that was watching her for the longest and probably was going to her job. You know what I'm saying? And probably hearing her talk. You feel what I'm saying? Because it looked like it looked like they was Hispanic, right? Or Puerto Rican. And it looked like the guy that was getting in, it looked like he was like he was Hispanic too, like he was mixed too. You feel me? So somebody knew her. Somebody knew her routine for the really actually follow this woman and put that plastic over their tag. They knew they was doing. They ain't, the Jane Jane just picked the car out the bunch soon she went to drive. No, they knew that lady, man. They knew that lady. That's a fact. They knew that lady. You feel me? But they gonna find out who it is. You feel me? Due time, I'm gonna keep searching. If they come out and say, well, this and such, and they'll and say, yeah, we know him. He used to work with us. Uh, yeah, we know him. He's some kin to woo -woo -woo, the person that's working with us, one of our employees. You feel me? Uh, he used to come in our job, I mean, our business. Woo -woo 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 -woo. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying, good people, man. You know what I'm saying, man. Look here, man. And I don't get it, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep saying this, man. Ain't nothing but a war zone. You heard me? You know what I'm saying? That's what, I, that's what I was trying to say about the police thing, too, man. You feel me? You got women's getting murdered, man. You know what I'm saying? You got, it's all around the world, man. It's like it's a dark place and it's a, it's a war zone, man. It's just a war zone. Man, look here, man. Me, I don't care what the government say, what the government do. Look here, man. You got these people out here, man, don't care nothing about nobody's soul. They don't care nothing about you or your tired family or your kids. So, me, I hate to tell somebody this here, this here, but I'm going to tell you something. Don't be looking for nothing, but please, you can pray to God, but if you ain't all the way there with God, you better stay dangerous. You feel me? Your mind better be ready to go to war with these people, because these type of people out here, they ready to go to war with you. So you better have that in your head. You're going to go to war with them. You feel me? But if you all the way with God, you let God fight your battle. But if you ain't all the way with God, I'm telling you so. And you know you ain't right. You know your soul ain't right. You better go to war with them. Facts, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying, women's man, you know. If y'all see somebody bumping y'all cars and woo woo man, flush it, man. I don't care, man. Cause a scene or something, man. You know what I'm saying? And by that man still calling the police, man, that lady still got zipped up. She still got murdered, man. They burnt that lady car up. They still done that to that lady. So you tell me, at the time that man was sitting there calling 911 and he told them what street they was turning on, right? You feel me? Now, they can look at certain maps and see what road that, which road they were coming from, which road they come. You know what I'm saying? And he telling them what type of SUV it is. And he just said, okay, it got numbers written on the back of it. It's a green, it's a car following them. It's the name of the car. You feel me? I wonder why game 
pull that map up. Because the police, they got these little things inside their cars, man. They knew what road to go by. They knew what, whoop, whoop, whoop. I wonder why I ain't pull it up, man. This don't make no sense to me, man. It just don't, man. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, my good people, you know what I'm saying, man? If you're going to save your life, man, take care of yourself, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Just be ready for whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to, don't look for it. Don't, you know what I'm saying? But nine times out of ten, you don't want to expect nothing. But you sometimes you got to expect a lot of things, man. You're going to have to. You got to deal with what you go through, what somebody else go through, man. It might be your family member. You still going to have to deal with what you going through, man. You feel me? So on this note, my good people, you know what I'm saying? Y'all come and let me know how y'all feel. Y'all thinking, thinking like I'm thinking. It was a setup, or they knew each other. So why they had that, that tag, that tag, uh, taped up with plastic. So that's the end, my good people. I'm going to scratch that. That's all I got for y'all, you know what I'm saying? But y'all know what to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. And smack that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me? And keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone. <laughs>